Her name is actually the uh, Cherokee name for the goddess of corn, uh, Salu. Um, she is a 17-year-old albino corn snake. Um, she has a she has probably the nicest temperament I've ever seen in a snake. Um, she's super friendly. She, uh, she's actually potty trained as well. Um, about after about 10 days after we feed her every time, um, like clockwork, we can take her outside and she'll go to the bathroom so we don't have to clean her cage. Um, but you know, if we miss our day, <laughs> then we're out there cleaning the cage. Um, she, uh, she, we feed her two mice every two weeks. Um, and uh, corn snakes are actually a type of rat snake uh, that, um, and they're called corn snakes because farmers used to put them in their corn bins to keep the mice out. Um, they're really nice, uh, they're not very aggressive. Um, and they're non-poisonous, so that's always a plus. Um, but yeah, that's Salu. Uh, and I'll let, um, usually she uh, she speaks for herself when, uh, when people are holding her and touching her and stuff, so. Life, um, and the reason she's albino, I don't know if y'all can see her eyes, but her eyes are actually red. I see that, it's like an albino. Uh, but yeah, see, um, and when she's doing her tongue like that, she's sn uh, smelling. Um, it's actually really warm. She must have been laying on her, uh, on her heat thing. Uh, you no know, snakes are cold blooded. Um, usually she's really cool to the touch, but she's kind of warm right now. So uh, she's probably about three and a half, four feet long. You're gonna see